Some are good, some are bad. Let's keep it a buck. All right, I'm not here to be like, this is the greatest thing. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? There is a AI software that can turn your clips from one long form video to about 15 to 40 different vertical videos. And they made a major update that can truly change the game as far as how your videos can stand out. Because talking head videos, like if I was just to stay like this, that's cool, but you may zone out. You may be going off and doing some other things and you may not necessarily watch the rest of the video. Where this particular AI tool has now added B-roll that is has potential to go crazy, right? Now this is version one. So the B-roll isn't the greatest, but this is something that we need to pay attention to. So the, the AI software that I'm talking about is Opus Clip. Here's my Opus Clip desktop or dashboard, right? This is my dashboard. Let's, let's go with the last Nikki and Moose live that, I, that we did. This made up to 29 clips. 29, and I didn't have to press anything. I just had to add the link. It made 29 different clips and they have viral scores. Okay, I didn't know this one. You can now auto post to YouTube, TikTok, IG Reels, and LinkedIn. Now that's interesting. I like what they did there. That made it easy. Hey, create the content and we will post it for you. But let's see what other updates that it did. Here's what I'm interested in. It's auto B-roll beta, where you could turn off, turn it off, that'll hide all the B-roll. We don't wanna turn it off, we wanna turn it on. Let's see what it does. We're gonna make some changes. We're gonna make some changes because we're actually here for the community and not here for our pride. You know, the, the Real Milk and Honey made a press release about that trash -o response that they did that they posted in the and took down that's a step you know they're gonna get some crap for it for a bit because it was just so bad it was just really really bad um but that they, they can build from that you know uh candy's restaurant the breakfast club like they can all build from the feedback. I think Candy's response is a very uh, well-played, documented response. So the B-roll is a little bit. Some are good, some are bad. Okay, let's be let's let's keep it a buck. All right, I'm not here to be like this is the greatest thing. This is version one, and if y'all know, version one always needs help but it is the potential that we got to look at. What I do appreciate with this is the fact that you can regenerate it. If you don't necessarily like it, you could try to see what it creates now. So if you don't like it at all, you could delete that one. So that's pretty cool. Now, another thing that Opus did is you're able to change the layout of the scene. So let's say you don't like this double one you can change the layout to like fill, fit, and split. So if I was to do fill, then it just shows me, right? If I showed fit, then it would turn it into just, you can see everything that's happening. It'll turn your video into more of a horizontal and just fill up the rest so it could be a vertical experience. I think that's not bad, right? And then we could go back to the split if you have two people. Now, of course, if you have more speakers, you're able to change it to three, four, five, however many, as you saw right here. And then you could do screen share as well. Let's see what else it does. Now, the captions, you're able to customize the captions, which I like right? You can do whether it's the three line per page or one line to kind of keep it bold. You can do an auto top, middle, bottom of where exactly the caption is going to be shown. 
So if I wanted to be in the middle, it would do the middle. If I wanted the top, it'll go all the way at the top. Keep it in auto, however it feels like it. Now you're able to customize how the transition shows. So if I wanted to show more of a pop, right? Because we're actually here for the community and not here for our pride. So it has this like little pop when it comes up. I could do a slide left. I could change the font however I want to. Uh, uppercase all text, change the colors. I can add my own logo. So it it's now allowing you to customize it a little bit more compared to what it was before. And so this is why I like Opus Clip. Not only the fact that it picks a good amount of clips that we're able to use. Now, I'm not gonna lie, not all of them are fire, okay? Not gonna lie about that. Even though it may say 98 and 96, some of the stuff isn't gonna hit, but some of them are going to. Some of them you're going to like. Some of them you can actually combine together to make a really good clip. And the fact that now that it's going to have B-roll and scheduling it out, I'm not mad at this at all. So this is Opus Clip. Let me know what you think about it. Have you used Opus Clip? Do you like the fact that it's going to do B-roll? So try it out, use it, put it in your stories, tag me, and let me know what you think about it.